What's the crack, lads? What is going on? Hope you guys are good. It's Thursday and we are back. We've got a new festive campaign to talk about. There's a coin sale and we are back with our Thursday update as we do. So I'll keep this short and sweet as short as possible. There's a lot to get through, but we'll talk about it and go through it, right? So we're going to start. If you have not checked out this yet, you have got a new event in here, obviously, which is going to be the J-League one. That is on going with the Spanish club one. You get your 50 coins for each win. So you literally just need to win one game in each of these online PvP. With the condition set, you'll get your 50 coins, which for which is 100 in total. We also have our Legend Challenge, which is going to be back. That hasn't come back in a while. That is going to be giving you rewards where you play on Legend difficulty. Take on two different match level or two different matches. First match, you get 30,000 trainer XP. The second match, you get 30,000 trainer XP. So look, it's something, it's something. We also have the Italian clubs. So this is accumulating of points, accumulate, accumulating the points up to clear this as well. And you're going to get 50,000, 50,000, 20,000 XP, another 50,000, another 20,000 XP, and then the ultimate prize of 100,000. So I told you there'd be ways to grind GP, and that looks like the way it's going to be from, uh, from here on in. We also have our chance deal. Again, that's just your free player of the week uh, spin, right? So as I said, lads, there is a good bit to get through here, right? I've just been looking at a couple of bits and pieces. Uh, we'll start with the festive campaign. So this is a new special login present. Uh, is going to be the Italian clubs by eight. So we're going to be getting eight special login presents for here. And we're also going to be getting coins and GP, right? The campaign objectives then throughout the festive campaign are going to be as follows. You've got 100 coins up for grabs, as we already saw. You've also got the 120 XP and the 240,000 GP with trainer, pro with trainer programs and trainer XP. And then the challenge event, obviously, is going to be rinse and repeat. Now, there is a little new jersey there. Messi's wearing an ugly Christmas jumper here. We will go over to the shop and see uh, if that is available. And it is. So this is part of it. Oh, it's 500 coins, man. It's not points anymore. Oh, man, where's the Christmas spirit, Konami? This should have been free, man. This should have been free. Oh, man, I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed, you know? That should have been a nice little Christmas present. But I can see because people are ac actually mad for new kits. So that is available for 500 coins. Let me know your thoughts on that. We've got in the eFootball Points store. Um, we've just got the players the same as normal. They never usually update those them th those players too regularly. Um, but we do have the eFootball coin sale. So uh, maybe you'll be able to get the... Yeah, I mean, look, if you do buy coins, it's always nice when there's a sale, I suppose. Um, but the sale only goes as far as this. 20 quid for 3,450 coins. Usually, that is 30 quid for uh, 3,300. So, yeah, look, you're saving you're saving a good bit there, obviously, and getting extra coins. And obviously, you can only buy that once. I definitely think they should have done... Not saying that, you know, I want the coins, but I definitely think they should have done like a 50% off to 12,000 to give people a really good chance if they were deciding to spin, to clear an agent, you know, just to be able to clear an agent and say, look, it's going to cost me 50 quid, yeah, but I'm going to get three endgame level players, so to speak, right? But again, that's just my opinion. Uh, you know, you really don't need to spend money on this unless you want to be competing in the top divisions uh, from where we're at now. Right, so we also have a couple of updates on this, right? The distribution of Leo Meter rewards, they'll just be in your inbox. There's a new booster that we'll talk about in a second. Basically, he's going to be getting a boost to all his stats, all relevant stats. He's got the total package booster. We will do a review on him as well because he's a very unique type player. But basically, if you have 1 to 13 players in this uh from this league registered in your game plan you're going to get a plus one to all relevant player stats 14 to 19 you get a plus two and 20 players or more you're going to get a plus three this is insane man this is insane right we're planning to expand the boosters activation activation condition in an update update upcoming update i can't speak so that'll take into account the number of j league uh players j2 league players right this is crazy, man. This is actually crazy. I'll show you the rewards here that we get from the Leo Meter. So you get your apology from admin. That was from if you bought a special pack, uh, the manager pack. So I had bought three. Uh, you also get your chance deal at the Italian clubs, your Leo Meter, and your apology. So there's a load of stuff in here that we can claim. That's no problem. Update on team play style proficiency. As compensation, we have sent 50,000 GP to all users. We've also sent users who have purchased the following packs uh 100 e football coins so there you go so that's basically it right uh, as i just talked about now on to cards 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 well that's what most people want to see right is cards 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 this new strip man i'm a little bit put out by that man because it looks nice 
I'm a little bit put out by that. I mean, let me know your thoughts, lads. That should have been at least eFootball coins at, a, at the very most, in my opinion. But anyway, we will go on to coins. I'll keep this short and sweet. We do have this new booster, Nakamura. He's in a double pack here in a 100-player uh, box. And look at his booster, man. This is what you're talking about now with the boosters going forward. I told you that this was going to happen. If you believe me or not, I had this kind of like thought that... Uh, you know, I was. I think that I thought that this was going to happen, that there was going to be very unique cars that you would be kind of like using, right? He gives a plus three to every stat here, right? But to activate this card and activate this booster, the boost is going to vary by the number of players from the above league registered in the game plan. So you need to have 20 J League 1 players in the squad with Nakamura. That means subs, starting 11 um obviously you can have a couple of more there as well normal players but essentially you need you know three quarters of your team from the j1 league to get this max boost of plus three is it worth it i don't know man i don't know i thought it was going to be a, a plus five but like when you look at some of the stats and you also look at the fact that he's got excellent player skills one touch pass true pass and way to pass fighting spirit double touch this is an insane card man right and obviously with the 31 levels you're not going to have to touch ball control, dribble in a tight possession too much. His low pass, yes, needs to needs to go up a little bit. His balance is quite weak. His acceleration isn't brilliant for an attacking midfielder. But, uh, I mean, 31 levels, man, is more than enough to get this card absolutely rocking. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one, lads. That's a very interesting booster. We also have this one here from Nakamura when he was 20. And that's going to be the same. So it's the same conditions with the plus three. We'll get into that later on in the stream. And we'll get into that later on in the player review as well. This card looks probably a little bit better because of his acceleration. But again, we will talk about that a little bit later. I mean, that is that is a very interesting one, man. I'll give you my full thoughts on it a little bit later, right? We also have our worldwide player of the week when we do the review. But for now, I will say that uh, I want your thoughts on it. Worldwide player of the, of the week. Let's see who we've got in here. We've got Gutierrez. We've got Bremer, Richarlison. Yeah, oh, Marcus Llorente is a fantastic player as well. I always like to play with him. Zoxi is there as well. Uh, Barcola is there. Very, very nice card as well. Blister and pace. We'll get into that review on that as well. And we also have the English League December um, that are there as well as the Spanish League uh, selection as well. So listen... I do feel, man, that these cards now, the way that they're re releasing them, I think it's kind of like something for everybody uh, for starting off, you know, because you've got a lot of cards that were very popular like last year that have been brought back and then a couple of new ones that they know people are going to spin for. So, yeah, I mean, listen, like uh, maybe we could have got club packs. Uh, I think it probably would have been better if we did get club packs. Um, but I can see kind of where they're going, you know, Kunde, Alaba, two of the most popular players ever last season, I would say, in this game. Uh, you've also got Traore, who's not a bad option. Uh, a couple of choice uh, choices in there that I wouldn't necessarily go for. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got the Barcelona pack, big, big time still going on. But yeah, let me know, guys. There's a lot of packs here, man, to get through. But these are very newcomer-friendly packs. So we'll do a lot of player reviews later and do a lot of builds and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, lads, that's pretty much it. That's all, all your events covered. That's the new kit. I'm a bit disappointed with the kit, lads. In fact, I am disappointed with the kit, man. That should have been a free one or even at least 500 football points or 5,000 football points would have been all right. I would have been okay with spending that, even though it would have been a bit saucy. So um, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be back a little bit later with some player reviews. Let me know your thoughts on the kit, man. I, I, I'm so put out by that. I don't know why, but I am so put out by that. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the kits, the new club packs and the new uh boosters as well let me know because that's kind of a big one man that's kind of a big one there i think when you're looking at kind of the meta for the game and how it's going to be going on so i will be back in a little bit with some player reviews and of course we will be live streaming later but uh until then don't forget to like and subscribe i'll talk to you in a bit